Dolly Parton. We all love her. We all need her. We all bow and give her all of our possessions. But have you ever wanted a slice of that thick Dolly Parton ass? Well, now you can with Dolly Parton's Southern Style Banana Cake. Because I really want Dolly Parton to see my banana. But why not stop there when we can have Dolly Parton's Creamy Chocolate Buttercream. Wow. Dolly Parton is into the cream. But what do all these sexual in the windows have to do with cake? I have no idea. I just bought these thinking that'd be fun to make a video. And you can make sexual jokes out of these. Wow. But of course, today is Sunday, the holy day. So we got to do some praying to our Lord and Savior. Dear Bodhi, may you please watch over us and bless us all day. All day. In Bodhi's name, we trust. Amen. Such a pretty sight It makes the food taste dandy But my tummy hurts all night I'll put in some ingredients But keep the rest for me uh -huh. I'm not just disobedient I'm careful, can't you see? Oh. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake If the way is hazy You gotta do the cooking by the book You know you can't be lazy Never Oh, ouch Oh Jolene, 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 Jolene Give me your banana and I'll give you my spleen Oh no guys, at 3am my Dolly Parton cake mix has been taken by an evil dog What do we do? It's only 3- 3, three, three um. Yo, J Station, I thought we were supposed to turn off the lights We can't fake anything if it- What? Okay. Subscribe for more videos. To make Dolly Parton's delicious banana, all we are going to need is the Dunkin' Cake Mix, one cup milk, four eggs, one half cup melted butter, one package vanilla or banana instant. God damn it, I forgot to buy the pudding. Fuck. Pam Baking Spray. Do not eat raw butter. Oh, batter. I was gonna say, what idiot will eat butter? Let's set the the oven to 350. That's very hot. Hotter than Dolly Parton. Whisk in one cup cold milk and let stand for about one minute until it is very thick. Thicker than Bodie's ass fat is. Oh, shut up. So I don't really know how to do all these kinds of cooking videos. I don't know how to make it proper or anything. I'm just someone who does YouTube for fun. So I'm just going to let you guys watch my struggles as I try to bake a cake. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the first queer person who can't bake. So you'll get the scene history here. Um, yeah, so I decided to, um, to use, oh, okay, that was a lot of water. To use these pans, because, um, I don't want, I can't find a big cake pan. I don't know why. Um, I think I know what it is, but I kind of want to make these, you know, they seem cute, you know? And if they get expired, I can throw them at a uh, enemy of mine. So, come, come near my path up in a few weeks. I'll throw some banana cake at you. Throw my banana at you. So I don't know if you can kind of see me because I put my phone up on the on the on the frosting on the frosting thing. I'm just gonna try to open it back a little. Okay, here you go. Um, damn it! I have I have something for this. So for Christmas, I made an after Christmas vlog saying I had a a tripod, and now I'm using it. I'm I'm using what I got for Christmas. Are you happy, Mom? Are you happy? But I'll never use those socks, okay? So, so stop bothering me. Hi. I'm a cooking person. I'm, I'm Rachel Way. 
But the one with the speech impediment, so it sounds like way too way, way too way. Come and cook some food. So, what do we do next? Preheat. I only did that. Spray to round pans. Prejudice. This cake is prejudice. It, it says it says round pans. I don't have round pans. I have triangle pans. It's 2023, motherfucker. It can identify as anything. It identifies as a, a round pan. So. Okay, that I didn't get hurt. It's just I banged it on the, the, the oven and it made a loud noise and it hurt my ears. I have sensitive ear balls. But um, what we do is we um, spray the, the pans with baking spray. Only the finest. Actually, I already ate butter for the video. I'm not going to kill myself with the pan. Not even the original. If it was like a different flavor. I think there was like butter. I'll probably do it if it was butter flavored, but definitely not original. Okay guys, check this out. Oh, so soothing. Oh yeah. It does smell bad though. What next do we do? Um, we blend the cake. Oh goody, we can blend some shit. Um, okay, I gotta get um I gotta get a pan. Here you guys go. Pansexual. Oh. I wasn't expecting that to occur. Okay. So guys, I am very good at cracking eggs. Um, I'm not like a skilled egg cracker. Uh, that's a, that's a job. That's a skill that you have to earn from egg cracking. It does remind me though when I got chased by a chicken. Oh, I, I'll tell you. You better not laugh. So when I was younger, I went to a farm. Um, this was way before I finally figured out I was gay. So I was able to do that stuff. And so. I went to the chicken farm and I asked, Hey Mr. Chicken, do you have any eggs? And so I was asking, right? And then I felt a little peck on my leg. A little poke poke. And then all of a sudden, a chicken was behind me. I guess I was behind its, I was behind its bay. I was like talking to its bay. So, um, long story short, it chased me. Okay. It chased me. Um, and I, I thought I was gonna die. This is 100% real, by the way. I'm not making any of this up. But I tripped on like a rock that was right next to, uh, where I was winning. Well, actually, it was a... Shut up, Evan! I'm telling a sensitive story. And I tripped and fell. My brother and his friends were watching me while all this happened. The chicken was done chasing me. I guess wasting its time on a queer person was probably not a, what what it not wanted so it decided to let me live it decided to let me go and now i'm alive to tell you this tale of why i'm physically afraid of chickens feels like i just jumped off a chicken sorry sorry i have to put that in your head so i'm gonna go ahead and just stir in the cake mix before something else messes up I don't like cooking. I hate this. I I really do. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I don't. I, I hope you guys forgive me. I don't really want to add the frosting. I'm just gonna end it once I bake this because I don't like this at all. I don't like cooking, but I'll do this for right now. I'm just showing the the beginning process. Um, I gotta get me a whisk. I feel like one of those um, TV mothers that's just stirring cake. It smells like bananas, I like that. This looks oddly good. What am I doing? Oh! 
Ah, uh, worst decision. Worst decision. Probably gonna speed up. Make that cake. Make that motherfucking cake. I'm gonna go ahead and pour. Pour in the cake. Maybe this, hang on, now, I, if I know anything from science, it lies. Well, I don't know much about science, so I don't know if it lies. I'll let that soak. So I'm gonna go ahead and set me the clock. 20 to 24, okay. Um, oh shit! I'm not trying to set the timer and be put the cake in. You idiot. Oh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this wonderful adventure of cooking with Daniel, of baking with Daniel. Um, love you guys. Dolly Potton loves you too. Um, respect Dolly. Hell yeah, I'm Matt Asalis. By the way, the cake did turn out good. So, pretty spongy. Golden Ramsey would be proud. <laughs>